Welcome back to our series on fixing a chest cave when you're squatting. Last video we talked about teaching the back to round again so that you don't have to crunch so much so that that chest doesn't cave so much. So we need to restore that mobility. Next, today, what I wanna get into is I wanna take that position that you've just gotten from the rock back exercise, the active full exhaling rock back exercise that you did that was challenging, right? Uh, I want to take that and then let's layer on some hamstrings on top of that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a traditional glute bridge here. And we're gonna lay on our back. First thing we're gonna do, it's the exercise is pretty traditional, but the way we do it isn't always that traditional. So what I wanna do that might be different than you've done in the past is I want you to do that belt buckle thing again. So pretend you're wearing a belt buckle, pull that up into your belly button. Hang on to that position. Try to shut your abs off too. I don't want your abs to actually do it. I want you to do it just with your leg muscles. And the two leg group muscle groups that are doing this are the hamstrings, okay? so. I want you to feel, it's not gonna feel super tired, it's not gonna feel like the end of a set of squats or anything. I just want you to feel a little bit of tension there. Do you feel them, yes or no? If you don't, you probably need to shut your abs off a little bit more. If you still don't and your abs are totally jello, then bridge up a little bit higher and push a little bit more and see if you can feel it. And if you still can't, just hold the position and we're gonna go through these reps. We're gonna do 20 reps just like this. So we got hamstrings and then we got glutes at the top two and as you go if you haven't felt them yet you should be able to start feeling them that's often what happens if you don't leave a comment below and maybe we can kind of troubleshoot through some things even better find a coach near you or online because I do online coaching <laughs> that you can communicate with to have like a little feedback session try to figure out why you're not doing it right or why you're not feeling it where it's supposed to be feeling not that you're not doing it right i think that was 10. i go by feel not by quantitative <laughs> objective measurement I totally lost count say 13. so i'm still feeling some hamstrings i'm really feeling a lot of glute though and that's okay because those are Another set of anti-gravity muscles. We talked about the hamstrings helping us out, but the glutes are gonna help us out as well. And let's say this is our last one. Holy crap, that burns. So, uh, exercise one was the full rock back. Remember, we're teaching our spine how to be mobile. Second exercise, we start to get into this stability, holding on to the mobility that we've made. So the back rounds out just with the position from the rock back we've done, but then the hamstrings, when we're standing upright, prevent us from leaning back like this. They pull our butt down and they keep us rounded right we keep that low back in a you know more mobile position we keep it away from this let's tighten up let's steal my mobility position we keep it out of this locked up position and we get you into a a state where you can demonstrate more mobility and again we need that mobility above and below that joint that is bending Remember, talked about the chest cave. The chest cave is usually just a hinge. It's not a nice round curve. So that's our second exercise, the glute bridge, but make sure you set up with your hamstrings.